seemed like the sneaker world absolutely hated this Jordan 1 OG hot white cement, I personally thought it was a fire shoe, so I picked them up. Later on this month, we get the little brother of this shoe, which is the Jordan 1 OG Low Black Cement. Now this shoe is getting much better reception than the OG High, but I personally like them just as much. Overall, you should really only buy what you like, and I personally like them both. But today, we'll take a look at both of these shoes. We'll talk about the similarities, the differences, and my overall thoughts and opinions on the Jordan 1 Cement Pack. So without further ado, let's jump in. The first thing we'll take a look at is the packaging the shoe come in. The boxes are very similar, but the Nike sign is white on the shoe that has predominantly black, and it is black Nike sign on the shoe that's predominantly white. That's kind of confusing. <laughs> I would've just switched the boxes. That seemed like it'd be more simpler, but it's still a dope box. You know, I like the elephant print on the box. It just lets you know which shoe that you're looking for if you do keep your shoe in the shoe boxes. Now, both of these shoes do come with that elephant print on the upper in that Chicago style color blocking. And I personally thought that was a dope touch when I seen the pictures way back in like January, February of this year. Now, outside of being a high and a low, the main difference is the Nike check and that mid panel. Now the Nike check on the highs is black with the white mid panel and on the lows it has a black mid panel with the white Nike check. Also it has a black toe box on the lows and a white toe box on the highs. Now neither one of these shoes came with an extra spare pair of laces so if you're looking for extra laces you need to check out High Definition Laces. High Definition Laces is a shoelace company and they got you covered no matter what type of laces you're looking for. Whether you want the oval, the circle, or the flat laces you can get them in just about any color. Sometimes when people buy these shoes, they just don't know how to drip them right just because the shoelaces that come with the shoes sometimes aren't the best. I can use these Jordan 4 out my years as an example. Now this is a totally burgundy shoe with some dark burgundy laces and I did a lace swap with my high definition flat laces and went with more of a sail color. Now I feel like that brought the shoe to life and it makes the shoe way easier to drip. Be sure to follow high definition laces over on Instagram, I had a link below. And visit highdefinitionlaces.com to purchase some shoe laces. And if you use promo code FRESH at checkout, you'll get a free pair of laces when you purchase two. The overall material on both of these shoes is pretty much A1, like this is about as good as material material as you get on Jordan 1 OG highs. The material on the lows are nice too, but it's not a leather, so it's kind of harder to judge it. However, that elephant print is about the same material, but that Durabuck or New Muck material that's on the toe box in the mid panel, that looks nice too. I would compare the material on that Durabuck sort of to the Travis Scott Black Phantoms. It's about that same type of material. Now one thing that I will say is that I think that people gravitated more towards the lows because that black just goes better with the elephant print. And I just feel like if you're wearing an outfit, you're probably gonna wear a black outfit with this or an outfit that has mostly black contained in it or half black or something. So that black just helps complement it. Most of the time you won't wear white with this. You won't wear like an all white outfit or something with these. And plus they come with black laces. So that's why I think people kind of strayed away from the high tops, just because that white mid panel. Now if they would have put a black mid panel on the high tops, I think it would have been received a little better in the sneaker community, but people absolutely hated this high top version, and they showing a little more love to the low. Currently, you can pick up these high tops for below retail in just about every size. Now the low tops, I believe these will probably sit a little bit on drop day also, just because it is more of an acquired taste, but the big sizes probably will sell out immediately. Now I'm definitely going on foot with both pairs and I'm definitely swapping the laces when I get a chance. Drop a comment down below if y'all wanna see a lace swap video on these shoes. But before we get out of here, I wanna hear from the Fresh Crew. Are y'all picking up either one of these shoes? The Jordan 1 OG High White Cements or the Black Cement Lows? Drop it down in the comment section below. And I need you to join the Fresh Crew. How you join the Fresh Crew, you click like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and follow us on social media at Fresh Colorway on Instagram. It's your boy Mo signing out for Fresh Colorway, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.